In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, one of the uh, most famous uh, tallest building in the world. It's uh, Taipei 101 and uh, it's designed by uh, CY Lee. Location is Taipei, uh, Taiwan and I wanted to show you how uh, the easiest way to, to, create, uh, to create this building. Uh, we will be actually using some blocks to create these areas here and then we'll separately create the bottom and the top and one interesting thing about this building is that it has uh, a big structure at the, at the top of the of the tower that it's called the mass dumper and it actually uh, helps the building with uh, high winds and, and uh, possibly earthquakes so it's actually cancelling the movement of the building in such cases so uh, let's let's start so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import this small uh, image I found because I'll just use this as a reference for uh, for the proportions of the building. So I'm going to, yeah, let's increase this a little bit and then let's start. So I'm going to, uh, as always, lock it and create here a transparency so that we have the good uh, overall look of what we're doing. So I'm just gonna now quickly create here the heights. I want to, to make sure that the height is uh, the same everywhere. Let's just draw this and uh, let's draw the bottom. And let's create this angle here. But first let's start from the middle. Let's say this is the middle of the building. And let me create this area here. And then we will mirror it on this side. So now this is like uh, some additional details, but we'll do them later. And let's create this, this areas on the top. So I'm just going to mirror this here so that I have the overall look and I'm going to create one of these, let's say this one. Okay, so, so now uh, first I'm going to use curve boolean to create this area here and now I'm going to create just this one module and then we'll actually block it and change it all over so the easiest way to create this is by let's go to the perspective let's rotate it and uh, let's see so this is 5.4 we're going to use the same distance and let's rotate this guy here and here so that I know how big this is. Okay. And now, uh, as you can see, I only have this side, so I want to have the same type of element on the other one. So I'm going to use Orient. I'm going to use Copy here. And with this, I can actually get this angle as well. So this, so now I have this as a measurement so that I can change the top because the top needs to be moved away like this and like this. So this will be the, the actual, the actual box that we'll use. And now let's, let's create some details. Uh, I can see that it has some kind of uh, ring around it. So we're gonna use gonna use uh, The top here. I'm gonna move it a little bit down and I'm going to uh, Duplicate it by holding alt and and uh, shift and I'm gonna create here planar surface I'm going to extrude this a little bit like so I'm gonna bring it up until there 
and I can actually scale it down out here like so uh, but before before this ring I can also see that there is some indentations here on the side so uh, as you can see here it has the actual like uh, some sort of a uh, uh, extrude, extruded uh, edge inside so I'm going to to do the same thing so let's just go and create some kind of rectangle here I'm going to move it let's say from the half here until there and I'm gonna use the same thing here on the top and what I can do now here is basically do a simple loft uh, in this case I get curved geometry because I need to flip one of these so let's do it again a loft and let's bring this guy here or here in the middle like so and we have the nice loft here let's cap it let's merge all faces and let's use now let's mirror it on all sides and let's do boolean difference okay so we need to actually extend these a little bit let's go with scale 1d like so and let's mirror this again like so and here let's boolean difference and we have our indentations that we wanted uh, we can delete this bottom part we can also delete uh, the lines here and now um, I'm gonna I can see that actually it has slight curvature here some kind of slight curvature so we can also try to to get this as well so first thing we're gonna do is let's go to the side view and i'm gonna basically create some helper lines here and let me start with drawing simple slight curvature like so I'm gonna mirror this and I can see here that they have some kind of sign in the middle so let me this is like a place where this sign goes but we're not gonna create it it's just gonna be uh, for detailing and let's actually trim this on both sides here so we have these two guys let's move them to the position and in this case I'm going to just slightly extrude them downward like so and I'm going to extrude them inward as well to have some kind of thickness and let's uh, let's create let me just see uh -huh, okay so this guy we need to bring here and let's extend this one as well so it will be some kind of signage here I'm gonna make it thicker so this will be some kind of detailing that we will use and now we can do the same process that we did before let's duplicate this border and let's offset it 0.1 let's plan a surface this guy and let's bring it down in this case we can see that these guys need to be extruded more so we're gonna create something like this all right so at, at this point i can see that i don't need this one this here so i'm just gonna use the, them here on the sides so in that case let's 
Uh, let's I'll just use let's just use these two. And we're gonna delete these guys. And let's do the offset on all sides. Or maybe the better thing is to just mirror this guy. So let's do planar surface. Let's unravel this guy and let's bring these guys back. Let's bring it up. Like so. Okay, I can see that I did the offset on the opposite side, so I'm gonna delete this and proceed with this guy. Okay. So once I have all of these, I can uh, mirror them all around. All right, so we have we have our detailing. Now we're gonna group this and let's also mirror it on this side and let's orient on this one. So this would be uh, this would be one of our modules, and now I'm going to use. I'm gonna say select curves. I'm gonna delete them, and I'm gonna do block. And let's create let's say module one, and that would be our module. Let me use select curve to deselect these guys. And I'm gonna now bring this, all of this here and rotate it. And let's say that this will be the, the middle ground. I'm going to unlock this bottom area that we did. I'm gonna delete them. And let's bring this on the top. So this will be here. And now what I can do is, this is the axis. So now what I can do, I can just go to the front and I can copy it. And there we go. So we have, we have the detailing here and the building. Uh, the bottom area will, will um, I'll just do, I'll just do the same process like we did here and the top uh, just make a simple box and then I'll do the rendering and show you the final result. This is the final rendering of Type A 101. Hope that you like it and uh, please like and share this content if you like it and if you think that uh, somebody can benefit from these tutorials. Take care and see you in the next one.